Hey there everyone, Tayshi here, back again with another video and in this video we are going to be designing not two but three more icons. So a simple music icon, then we have a cloud icon which is very famous for the sketch and also we will have this kind of comment or text or SMS or message icon, whatever you call that. So let's design, these are actually pretty simple to implement. So what we're going to do is we're going to press A again, we need an artboard, so we're going to have an artboard like this. Okay, sounds nice. And we're gonna drop it like a little bit, again, 500 by 500. So 500 by 500, there we go. Okay, and we're gonna move it a little bit down so that we can actually see what we are designing. So how we can take this down? It's actually pretty simple. First of all, press O on your keyboard and we need an oval. Now oval should be a little bit like broader on the area, like mine is gonna be 130 by 75, I guess. So 130 by 70, Five. Okay, so this is the one I like. Of course, without the border, we are going to have it. Now, once you have this, then I think, you know, it's less uh, fat. So we're going to make it a little bit fat and we're going to move it to like 130 by 80. So that's that actually looks nice. And then we are going to have a rectangle. So press R on your keyboard and then we are going to have a rectangle. Okay, so there we go, and we're gonna remove the borders from this. Now what we need to do is press Z key and we are gonna zoom it. So this is something which needs to be done using your arrow keys. So move the arrow keys just like that, and then move it a little bit top, till then the edge is actually completely gone, and it looks like a complete one shape. Okay, there we go, nicely integrated. Select both of them and click on Union, and there we go, now it's a one shape. So we're going to press command minus and a couple of times so that we can have it. It looks nice. And now what we're going to do is we're going to press our option key and we're going to have a copy of it, which is going to be a little bit above the last one because this is how the music nodes looks like. And there we go. Nice and easy. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to draw a line which is going to be connecting both of these guys. I can move it a little bit closer here. So there we go. And all you have to do is press your R to get a rectangle, we're gonna start a little bit, just a little bit above this guy. And we are gonna be going a little bit like that. And uh, there we go, connecting it till here. Okay, and we are gonna remove the borders, of course. And then what we have to do, press Z key again, and let's zoom this area. Okay, now first of all, it's too much like thick. I want it to be like 216 by probably 25, that's it. I'm gonna double click so that it converts into vector and then move this guy up at the top and this guy also is gonna align you with that. So notice this point and this point is now connected here. So there we go, that's easy. Now comes up the difficult part. What you have to do actually is, let's just hit enter there. Now what you have to do is move it a little bit above so that it looks like this. Okay, that's nice. And you have to also shift this a little bit above so that it moves like this. So this is how you get your perfect music icon. In case you think that this is like too much uh, like fat, you can always double click and can, keep, can get into the dig of it and can reduce down the shape like probably a little bit like that if you wish, probably like 75 a little bit more. But I think I did like the previous one. So hit command one again. Oops, not that command Z. And we're going to select these guys. And there we go. Looks pretty nice. Now, what we're going to do is select all of them, press command G to group them together. There we go. Nicely done. Or we can hit command Z. And let me show you we can select all of them. But here's a problem when you're going to be selecting the union here, uh, sometimes it can behave a little bit odd, but since we actually did it perfectly, I think it's good enough. And what's the advantage of having the union versus having them in group? That's the common question. So hit, let me hit command Z. Now they are all different shape. Now when you hit into a command G, sometimes, not always, sometimes you're not allowed to actually have colors and all of that because sketch things, they are completely coming up from different background and don't allow you that. But when I hit command Z to undo that and hit a union, now this hole has become just one shape. It is assuming just like it's a circle, it's a rectangle, this is a shape. So that is always much more advantageous. And now you can fill that up with something nice like this blue, which is default in my color palette for a 90E2, nice. So there we go. 
have our music icon. So we're gonna select that guy and we're gonna keep that at the center, okay. We can also do the same for this guy, keeping it at the center, okay. Next up, the cloud, which is actually pretty easy. We're gonna have an artboard, so R, there we go. Nice and easy artboard, I guess it's 500 by 500, okay, nice and easy. Okay, having a cloud is actually pretty much easy. You can press just R to have a rectangle just like that. A little bit smaller, like that probably. We, can, we always are gonna be tweaking it a little bit. So I'm gonna have 220 by 60. The height is actually 60. Now notice here, the height is 60. It doesn't have any border. So we are gonna be doing a radius here. So height is 60. We want 30 here to make it a completely almost rounded corners. And there we go. Okay, that's nice. Now let's just zoom that here a little bit. Okay, and what we are gonna do next is we're gonna have an O for oval. Press down your shift key so that we can have a nice circle there. Okay, and this is gonna be like, uh, I think that's good enough perfectly. 60 by 60 is what I wanted here, but without the borders. And I would like to change the color a little bit so that I can see it, what's happening. Okay, now the first thing that I would like to do is place it somewhere like here. Okay, that's nice. And then I'm gonna be pressing my Option key and having one more. And now this time I want to scale it, so press down a Shift key and then scale it a little bit like that. Okay, and then we are gonna be shrinking that down a little bit because I want it a little bit like that. Okay, now what we are trying to do here is we are trying to keep this edge uh, onto this edge. Notice the gradient line here. So we are trying to have a perfect rectangle here so that rectangle starts here. So that it kind of gives like this corner here. Notice here, it looks really, really awesome. The almost same thing we are trying to do with the grid lines here as well. So that it gives like nice and perfect edge. And there we go. Okay, so that looks pretty decent to me. Now we can right click here and can remove all vertical grids. Select all of them and we can just click on union. And there we go, your nice, lovely, and beautiful cloud is ready for you. Probably cloud looks pretty good when it is blue. There we go, nice and easy. Command minus, and there we go. It's actually much more beautiful as compared to what I designed previously. Previously, I didn't use these smart guides, so that's why this corner is not perfect. Here you can see how perfect it looks, very sharp, I love that. Okay, now the next thing that we are gonna do is you're gonna be understanding a lot about the vector tools, which is this great nice icon. So press A and we're gonna have an artboard again. You know the stuff, 500 by 500, there we go. So what we're gonna do in this case, let me bring down that a little bit, oops, Command Z. I haven't actually selected all of them. So probably I'll be having Command G to group them. Oops, Command, Control Z. Select all of them, Command G, so that I can move it once here. Okay, that's nice. Now, how we're gonna take that down, it's actually pretty easy. The only tricky part is this one, where you're gonna learn one thing. So press O for oval, and we're gonna have a flat, nice, really fat one here. I think 285 by 160 is good. Okay, and of course, you know me, no borders at all. And once you have this, we are gonna first convert that into a color, a nice greenish, uh, which is uh, B8, B8 E986, okay? In case you want exact same color. Now we're gonna press O to get a, square, uh, a circle, press down the shift key, and we're gonna have nice circle. And there we go, I think the circle is 41 by 41, I don't like it, I'm gonna go for 40 by 40, there we go. Remove the borders, and there we go. Now this circle is gonna be a fill white. Okay, obviously green and white makes a contrast. So hold down your option key and we're gonna have some copies of it. Notice how smart guides are helping me to have an equidistance from 19, 19, 19 there. That looks pretty nice. Hold down, first release your mouse and then release your keys. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is click on this circle, which is the outer one, and then click it one more time. So double click there quickly. Now it is being converted into a complete vector. Now in the recent sketch, like probably like five or 10 revisions earlier, now you can add more vector points and that helps to create this kind of things easier. Now how you're gonna do that, let me zoom that a little bit. 
So first and foremost, what you have to do is mark an anchor point. Now these anchor points are something which is going to help you. Now let me show you that, it's much more easier. Click once here, don't touch and move that. Click once here, and now what is going to happen, everything from this to here is gonna remain intact. From this, this point to this point will remain intact if you will add one more anchor point in between here, okay? So add one more. No, don't, don't click on this guys. These are connected with these guys. So just click somewhere in between and then you can click and drag it. So something like that. Okay, so this is what we are having. Now just click and drag a little bit and let it go. And there you go. You got your nice chat icon or comment icon. Now let's just click in here and select this guy by selecting that. Now obviously you can have a straight in case you like a little bit sharper something. Some people like do sharp edges and all of that. Completely your choice. You can just click on the sharpening edge there. Uh, just select the point and either click on straight, either click on mirrored to have it like much more bold and something. Now, although these disconnected and all of that have different roles to play, but obviously you can use this in other hacks as well. So there we go. I think I'm gonna go with a little bit like that. Obviously you can drag your handles a little bit to make it less sharpie uh, from both the side and all of that. But I think I like it however it is. It looks, it gives me a good feeling like, little bit roundish. Maybe you like too much Sharpie thing. You can always go for that. So there we go. Now again, we're gonna select all of this and uh, this time selecting the union is not at all a good idea. Notice if I just select that, it just removes everything here. We don't want to do that. So Command Z. This time I want to press Command G to group them all together. Now the advantage of having a group together sometime is almost like a uh, union as well. But the whole point is we want to make it just as a one shape. So in this case, if I just want to scale it a little bit, probably like 120%, it just all scales up. And that's that should be how the icon uh, in your application. So that if you want like a 1x, 2x, you can just make it exportable, have it 1x, 2x, uh, or probably 3x for iPhones and stuff. It just works like that. Okay, so this was it. This was a quick explanation about all three icons and some more fun stuff in the sketch. So that's it for this video. Go ahead, join me on my YouTube channel as well, and I'll catch you up in the next one.